never say never to plastic surgery, but Nichelle is here now with some ladies who say yes, please, and right now. A little bit more, just a little <laughs> bit more, right? And it's easy for them to say that because their husbands are the ones who are holding the scalpels. Now, I talked to three women who are married to plastic surgeons, and beneath the surface, it's not always so pretty. I think marrying a plastic surgeon is every girl's dream. Their husbands do facelifts, nose jobs, eye lifts, and lipo, sometimes even on their own wives. Dr. Robert Ray has made over his wife, Haley. What have you had done? Yeah, I've had, well, Botox, um, fillers in my lips, Juvederm. I've had my breasts done, my ears pinned back. He does it. And you, and you do I, operate on her. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you I hate it, you, but the she's the boss. So I'm limited to putting the implant beneath her fat pad. Dr. Jason Diamond does a lot of face work, but wife Jessica is staying away from his scalpel. You have had some things done. Then. I've had a few things done, and yes, we underwent the experience of me being the patient, him being the physician, and it, I have to say it was not, it did no. not go smoothly. It's like the classic thing when people say, you know, you should not treat family. Now yeah. like, we understand why. Yeah, like it did I, not go well. I don't look forward to ever doing anything again. But for Jessica and Dr. David Amron, there's nothing like the perk of free work. Every now and then I do a little Botox on her. I've done a little bit of subtle natural contouring to her cheek area. Celebrity Plastic Surgeons of Beverly Hills, streaming on Netflix, takes us into the ORs and lavish lifestyles of the doctors and their spouses. Dr. Ray, also known as Dr. 90210, and wife Haley are having marital troubles. And then you're like running off to Palm Springs? When we see the show, you guys are going through a rough patch. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I wasn't the monster you thought I was. Yeah. And the subject. We're going through the roughest part of our marriage that we've ever the gone roughest. through. The roughest. It's the roughest. We were you know? actually talking about divorce. How did you come out the other side then? We had two options. Either we divorce and go our separate ways, or we try to make this work. I'm angry at him all the time and resentful. So we decided to spend more time together and rebuild our marriage. Basically, all marriages are difficult. It's the last lesson of life.